Hello YouTube world, this is Logic Crazy and I'm Jonathan. Here's yet another tutorial on uh, solving this chest, creating a chess engine. And today we'll be focusing on uh, uh, making the queen. Uh, just before that though, uh, a couple things on why I programmed the king the way I, I did. You'll notice that, uh, just to show you that uh, I'm not making uh, um, meaningless moves. I basically what I had done was I had said, uh, okay, let's say in this situation, and I'm looking at this uh, bishop here, not the king in this case, but the, the bishop, and I'm saying, um, all right, if I were to move this bishop to here, what I do is I remove it from this square, and I record what is already here, which is nothing, but if I'm capturing a pawn, I would record that, and then I put it over here. And I check, ah, now is it, is my king safe? Now, some people might think, for instance, uh, let's say they had a, a bishop there, and I had a bishop here. Some people would think that maybe just removing my bishop, and I can already see, aha, the king's in check. And I don't have to actually move it in my new spot to, uh, and then check. So you would think, I just remove it. Ah, are you in safe? No, you're not safe, so don't make that move. But there's another situation which might happen, and that is if they were to put in, uh, let's say this, um, having a rook attacking the king. Now, just removing my uh, bishop is not enough because I'm still in check, even though this is a valid move. So therefore, in this case, I have to place it there to check. So in one case, it was a removal. In one case, it was a place that got me out of check. Um, or uh, can get you in or out. So um, that's why I do both. And this is just an example to show you how this works. All right. Um, now for uh, some more programming. All right, here we go. Um, so we've already created this king thing. Uh, partially, we're leaving king safe for now. Won't focus on that for a little bit. Uh, let's focus on this queen. Queen is a little bit different because you can travel a long ways um, just like these knights and bishops and stuff uh, so if I go back here um, let's say I have a queen here the queen um, nah, we will put the queen uh, let's see here and let's say they had a, a black pawn there now I want you to know not only can the queen go in all sorts of directions horizontal uh, vertical, diagonal, both ways. Um, it can go a long ways, indefinitely. In this case, it can go this far. In this case, this far. In this case, this far. It depends where it is. If I were to put my uh, queen uh, closer to the edge, um, it would uh, be able to travel less far um, in certain directions. But in, uh, let's take the um, going up direction. Here, it can go up, up, but then it has to stop once it hits a piece, but it can go on this one. However, if I were to have uh, one of my pawns here, I could go, but I couldn't go on top of my own piece. So there's a few rules that we need to uh, just uh, abide by and keep in mind as we program. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the very first couple lines uh, should be uh, roughly the, string, the same. So we'll have a string and then... Uh, this whole thingy here. Undo that. All right. So um, we'll create a, a temp uh, equals one. Um, and I'll show you how that works out later. Now we need a few fours. We need a, uh, again, we start off with J because I's already been used. Um, but we uh, don't start out in the traditional sense. We want J. So the first time round, instead of being 0, 1, 2, 3, so the first round is 0, the next round is 1, we want the first round it to be negative 1, and the second round it to be positive 1, and then quit. So how do you do that? Well, you start off, obviously, with negative 1, and then you say, if it's smaller or equal to 1, um, so you're allowing it to be negative 1 to 1, but instead of j++, plus plus, which would go negative 1, 0, 1, you go j... Um, well, in this case, we'll actually leave it plus. Uh, I was thinking of going from neg1 to 1, but if we did that, it would be j plus 
uh, equals 2 is how you would jump around. Um, but uh, we're actually going to do this a little bit different here. And then we will have another for loop inside of that. And this one will be, we'll go with the next letter, K. And we'll again, negative 1 to 1, add 1. So we'll go uh, J's through negative 1, 0, 1. K is negative 1, 0, 1. So each one of those situations. And uh, basically what that will do is enable us to go diagonal, up, diagonal, all eight directions. I believe it's eight directions that you can fan out from a, a position in a queen. Horizontal both ways, vertical both ways, diagonal both ways one way, diagonal both ways the other way. All right. And the basic way it works is uh, negatives and positives. We'll be talking about the direction. So, for instance, zero uh, might mean uh, in that uh, x direction, if x is zero, it won't uh, move that way. But if uh, the other direction is one, it will move over to the right. And if they're both ones, it'll move over at a 45, and uh, uh, so on. So now we will put in a try, just like we did the last time. And we will have, uh, I'll just copy my uh, catch exception thing. All right. I believe like that. All right. So for each one of these, let's try something here. Let's, uh, we're going to first say, uh, this is how I'll program it. I'll take this king or this queen, pardon me. Um, all right. And I will say, okay, move the queen one. Move as long as it's empty. So move, move, move. This is kind of, I'm showing its path. Move, move, move. And then it'll say, ah, the next spot's not empty. And it'll, for now, stop. So it'll just go as far as it can as long as it's, it's encountering empty squares. So we're not checking if we can capture the, the other person's peak. We're just uh, going as far as we can without capturing. So we will say, um, again, we'll have a uh, old piece um, equals, uh, oh, we should uh, actually have uh, one other thing before I do this. We need a while statement. We need to say while it's blank. Um, so while, now again, remember um, uh, the while statement the equal so blank and we need a dot equals and then we will put in a chess board and the location that we are putting in is r plus temp times j and then the other one is c plus temp times k. And I'll show you how these things work. Um, and basically, after the while loop, or um, right at the end of the while loop, the last thing we will say is temp plus plus. So we start off, we start off with it being 1. And basically, this times j times k um, will fan out in each direction. And so we'll increment at, uh, temp by 1. So we'll go in that direction, that's temp times j, and, and go temp far in the j, k direction. And so it'll fan out in each one's from the r and c locations. Is uh, basically how that works. So while it's um, empty, then here's what we do. We say again, uh, old piece equals, and I'm just going to copy this chessboard, paste it in there. So the old piece is where I'm going. And then chess, chessboard uh, RC, set that one to blank. And then we will do uh, chessboard um, oh, I'll just paste it again. This one, the new spot equals Q. All right. And uh, then we will again have this whole uh, if king safe thing. 
just like we did before. Um, in fact, I'll just copy that there. Uh, if king safe. Now, the if king safe is slightly different. In this case, it's still RC. That's where we come from. But now in the brackets is uh, R plus temp J. And C plus C plus temp K. And then plus old piece. And then once we are done that, we will set the chessboard R C to Q and then we will set uh, oops, copy the new location and set it to the old piece set it back to whatever it was and then we well, then we increase temp so we go through this and basically temp keeps getting increased until there's nowhere further to go. Now, um, until, and it will keep this up or until uh, um, it obviously gets out of the board and this try thing produces an error and quits. And then it'll go on to the next JRK thing. So after the while, being blank has quit um, and it hasn't hit the end of the board because that would produce an error we would say we need this whole if lowercase thing um, so we'll say if and then uh, again character dot is lowercase and inside that we will have chessboard, um, or we'll just copy it here. Um, chessboard, this new spot. So we've increased all through the ranks. We've now come up with a spot where it's no longer blank, so the while quit. So now we want to know, can we capture this piece? So that's why I'm saying if lowercase, right? Because uh, the other pieces, the blacks, are lower. Um, so we'll say if lowercase this dot char at zero and of course zero is the very first character not one um, alright so if that then let's see what we should do then we will again just copy this whole thing pretty much just copy it and I don't believe there's any uh, differences here. Um, set that, set that. Um, oh, uh, except for this one spot, temp has to be back to one. Um, that way, um, um, yes, I believe so. Except, actually, no, that is, would be incorrect. I don't want temp to turn back inside of here in case there's an error, I want right after the catch. So once everything's been checked for this vet, for these values of J and K, set temp back to one. So we start checking one away from the queen, and then two away, and three away, and four away, and keep producing uh, from my queen outward and outward and outward. And then once we're done checking that direction, we set back to one and check this spot, and this spot, and this spot and so on. And so that's uh, basically how this thing works. Now let's see what happens if I were to run this. Um, let's run it. I should not have anything. Perfect, because the queen and we had removed A and put it back down there. Now if I have a queen there, how many moves are possible? Well the answer is in a blank row Normally, eight moves would be possible, but since the queen occupies one of the spaces, seven moves are possible there. Vertically, there's three, so that brings you to ten. And then diagonally, it's hard to see, but 11, 12, 13, and 14, 15, 16. It's basically the height and the height again. All right, um, so hopefully we're going to get roughly about 16-ish. So let's see. We got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now we're getting 19. Um, just let me think. There were 7, 8, 9, 10. Aha. Uh, 10. And then we had said uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. But then there's also captures 17, 18, and 19, and 20. Anyways, there's uh, three, three pawn captures. Let's see if there's three times we see P. There's a pawn there, and a pawn there, and a pawn there. I believe that's right. Yes, 16 and three captures brings you to the total. So I, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Uh, let me know if the comments if I, if I did make a mistake, but I don't think I have. These are the possible moves for a queen. You'll notice if I put uh, surround it with my own pieces, for instance, if I put uh, hinder my move, basically. Um, so like that, in which uh, the queen can only move here, 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 and here. So I should get four. Oh, and then up here, five, six, seven. So now you check the output. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And you can also check the notation to make sure it's exactly the same. Um, I definitely did when I wrote it, but I'm uh, a little more confident about uh, what I'm doing here. So I'll just whoops, uh, erase all my uh, letters written there. Um, and now you have just created uh, possible moves for the queen, assuming king safe, which we will later work on. So until next time, enjoy Java.